Hello everybody, thanks for joining me today. I'm Jackie and I create mosaics using sea glass and today I'm going to show you how I'm going to create a sea glass mosaic in this antique church window. So a few years ago, all the windows in the church where my parents grew up were replaced. So all the old windows came out and I was really lucky to get my hands on some of those windows. And I used them as a canvas for creating some sea glass mosaics. And with this particular window, these were the small windows that sat at the top of the great big windows in the church. And there were 10 of these really cool shaped windows. And I've created sea glass mosaics in nine of them. And all of those windows hang in the homes of people who have had some sort of connection to the church. And this is the 10th one. And so today I'm going to show you what I'm going to do to create a sea glass mosaic in this one. And I just wanted to inspire you to seek out old windows that have some history and have some, some sort of story behind them and to preserve them. So this window, instead of going to the landfill, I'm preserving it in a piece of art. So I'm going to show you what I'll do on this one and then I'll show you pictures of the other nine that I've done. So the first thing that you need to do when you get your hands on an old window is to strengthen it and clean it up. So to clean it up, basically all I did was wash it and I used a glass scraper like this to clean off some of the old paint and I just cleaned it. That was easy enough. And then the other thing that you need to do is strengthen them because you don't want these things falling out. You don't want the glass to fall out because a lot of times the caulking, especially on the back of an old window, it's been exposed to the elements for years and years and years and a lot of the caulking had fallen off on the back. So what I did was I put some clear silicone in there just to strengthen it. I don't really want to change the look of it any. Sometimes when you get these old windows you'll want to paint them because they look really bad but the wood in this particular window is in really good shape and it's really beautiful so I it would be my choice not to paint it but if somebody else wanted to that's their choice. So this window is for a woman who grew up right beside the church and she got this window and she just loves it and she gave me a bunch of her sea glass to use because she wanted it made with her own sea glass which I think is wonderful when you make something really special sometimes using your own sea glass is really important and so what she talked about was she'd really like to have a scene with a horse. I've never made a horse before, so that's going to be a new venture for me. So I drew a little sketch of a horse here on my pattern. And she thought she'd like to have the field. So I'm going to do a field in green. And she'd like to have some water and some sky and some brown capes. So I'm going to try and do all now of that. Now what I did was I went digging through her sea glass and I found this incredible piece of sea glass. I don't know if you can see very clearly, but there's all these markings on this piece. It's just a beautiful piece of sea glass. So I'm going to put that right up at the top in the peak of it and then I'm going to use that as a sun and have some streams of white coming down for the sky. So another piece that she had here is this beautiful red piece. If you look at this piece in front of the light on my phone, you can see that it's just a gorgeous red. And one of the things that she was telling me was that when she was growing up, she could look from her bedroom window and see the candle hanging in the window of the church. And it meant a lot to her. So I thought I would put that red piece in there and it would kind of represent the candle that was hanging in the window that she looked across and saw when she was a little girl. And then there's this other beautiful red piece. This one's gorgeous as well. It's kind of a different shade of red and you can see all these striations in it. It's just gorgeous. So I'm thinking I'll put that one in there as well. And then I thought I'd put some blue pieces along the so side. So I thought it would be built, neat to build that lighthouse. And then I've got all these other special pieces. She gave me some other reds and a nice aqua there and um, or turquoise and some other blues. And then she gave me two dishes of all sorts of brown and green and white to use. A whole bag of blue there. I won't use all of that. And a bag of aqua sea glass. So I have lots to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and work on this sea glass mosaic and see what I can come up with.
Sorry about that. Obviously my skills lie in creating sea glass art, not in creating good video. I'm just trying something different here to see how I can do with the time lapse video. Let me know what you think of it. So there you have it. I've finished my sea glass mosaic on this really unique old church window and I hope that it inspires you to track down some old windows and preserve them in a piece of art. It's so stay tuned for a slideshow. I'm going to show you what I did on the other nine windows that I was able to get my hands on and until next time happy sea glass hunting. Thank mm -hmm. you.